based on the examples that we have seen so far, we are now ready to discuss the design flow when we want to realize our problem or we want to realize our state machine. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to look at the problem, try to understand the problem and construct the state transition graph that will solve the problem. After that, we will have the state assignment. So instead of calling the states, for example, S0, S1 and so on, we will need to translate these states to something that is uh, with zeros and ones. When we have done that, it is time to write the truth table. So we write the truth table based on our state assignment and the graph that we have constructed. And then finally, when we have the truth table, we want to realize our circuits using some digital gates. In order to make this a little bit better, what we are going to do is that we, after we have done the graph, we are going to look at how can we minimize the number of states in the graph. It is not always obvious that you at the first time construct the best graph with as few states as possible, so sometimes it is possible to have fewer states. So we are go going to look at the state minimization problem as well. Also, after you have done the truth table, before you go to the realization, you want to minimize the functions. And this is something that we are going to discuss extensively in this course. So from the tr truth table, we want to construct as small expressions as possible using as few circuits as possible. And of course, here it is very important that we properly define what we mean by a minimized circuit. And that is also something that we're going to spend some time on. And when we have the function minimization in place, then it is time to do the realization. So this is the design flow that we're going to follow throughout the course.